Hey everybody, did you know you can go to ColinMullen.com and I've had a lot of caffeine today, so I'm going to talk really fast. Sorry about that. Need to calm down. Whew. Father's Day is coming. You could get art for him. ColinMullen.com. Yeah, that's the take I'm using. Hey everybody. So before I get into today's subject matter, I want to talk about this painting a little bit because it is... Uh, from a live stream that I did the other day. It was a tutorial live stream. I'll link it at the end of this video um, I feel like I went a little too advanced with this My idea was that I wanted to make it so that way it didn't matter how you know new to art you were We could do something that you would be happy with and we could learn about things like color composition and line weight and a little bit of art history at the same time at the end of the day, though, I feel like this was maybe a little bit too advanced for uh, everyone. I'm still learning about how to be a teacher, so next time we do an art stream, I will try and do something a little bit more um, beginner-friendly. That was obviously not my intention to make it not beginner-friendly, um, but if you want to check it out, it'll be at the end of this video, and you'll learn a little bit about analytic cubism. Anyway, let's talk about today's subject matter because that's why you're probably here and not about my ramblings. Well, I guess that's why you're here, but anyway. Um, so I got a message on Tumblr and it's a three-part thing. You can go and pause and look at it right now if you'd like, but I'm gonna just go ahead and summarize it. The idea is this Anon is asking, uh, you know, they, they wanna know whether or not they should focus on doing um, a um, more uh, industrial style, one that like works with like design and that kind of thing. and or doing one that's more along the lines of the personal kind of stuff that they like to do and whether or not they should have two Instagrams or one and there's a lot of different parts to this question but I'm gonna I'm gonna simple it down into um, which direction should you go with your art and that kind of depends on how you want to sell yourself and how you want to uh, present yourself as an artist because um, basically as humans we really really like it when things fit into a nice neat category and that really helps when getting a job if they know uh that you can do a certain thing or you do certain types of work that's great but nowadays i feel like most um people who are hiring artists expect you to be able to do a lot of things if you're going the design route i did not take too many design classes i went the traditional art route which is why i paint the way i do and do the stuff that i do um but anyway so if you're gonna do design, um, I feel like you do need to be able to do a variety of different things. Like you can easily adapt to whatever their style is because if you do just one style, and I feel like this applies to animation as well. Like if you can't um, move yourself along with whatever the company's needs are, like if you can only do cartoony kind of stuff, but the company needs something more serious and more, um, uh, more uh let's say they want something art deco and you only do um i don't know 1990s cartoon style like that's not gonna really um jive all too well with them and you're gonna have some issues getting jobs if you are not diverse so as a designer i would recommend having diversity in your portfolio um as a uh, traditional artist generally speaking people like a a brand you know when you think of van gogh you probably have an idea of what van gogh's paintings look like same with picasso and in the cases where you know a little bit more about picasso and you know that he had a variety of different styles for instance he didn't just do um Guernica and stuff like that he also did you know his blue series they are named as such and it makes it so that way people can have a nice easy way of interacting with it because people like a nice easy narrative they like to go okay well this person's a uh, impressionist they want to have a category for what you are you know it's why there's a category for every single type of music that's out there and then there are subcategories for that in the same way people want to go okay what style of music is this what style of artist is this what kind of subject matter does he do so that way they can if they're you know getting into your stuff be able to cleanly and easily identify what you're doing so they can fit you into a category um it's sort of like branding when it comes to like um coca-cola like every single coca-cola 
design looks the same way. Like, you know a Coca-Cola product, even if you can't read the text, you know what it is. Same with McDonald's and all these other big companies, and that's just brand recognition. In a way, your art is your brand recognition. So having a style that, like, is consistent, or at least, you know, doesn't take an explanation for people to get that it's yours is helpful. Um, those are the traditional, like the, the general rules that every single art teacher will give you. I am very much a fan of just exploring whatever I feel like exploring. Um, and I feel like there is a consistency in my work, despite the fact that I am not consistently doing one thing over another. So in a way I have partitioned myself off. Like you were asking whether or not to have a different Instagram for your um, design stuff versus your more personal stuff. I think that's probably a good idea. You know, I have three YouTube channels for that reason, because I know that the people who want to watch, you know, me do live streams, maybe don't want to watch art, or maybe people who want to watch, you know, highlights of those live streams, they just want short videos. They don't want huge long videos where it's going to take forever to watch. Like they just want a quick little whatever. They don't want to watch a movie every single day. And by having the option for people to subscribe to each and every single one of those things, I'm not forcing you to look at content that you don't want to look at. And hopefully at the end of the day, you choose all of it. You know, hopefully you like all of what I do. But if you don't, I've made it easy enough for you to just pick and choose what you want. Um, and in a similar way, maybe that's what you should do as well. Um, but I constantly am referencing each one of these different things. And so people who watch my highlight videos know that this channel exists and people who watch my full stream channel know that the highlight channel exists and so on and so forth. And so it all is sort of an interconnected thing. So maybe it would be worth doing a very similar thing for your, um, your Instagram. I am not very up to date on Instagram. I have an Instagram account. I have just started using it because my brother was like super into it and he was like, dude, you got to get in on this. You got to be using this. It's like as an artist, I probably should be using it. So I can't give you really like firm platform specific advice. I'm just going to focus on like more general ideas. Um, also, I should mention right here in the painting, I'm adding black in. During the original um, live stream, I uh, just used a mix of like cobalt blue and uh, burnt umber and I didn't really care for how dark that got and I really like the effect that the actual black has versus the um, the burnt umber cobalt blue effect so anyway um, so I guess my uh, advice is if you're gonna do design you want to be able to do everything you know if you're a design student I would really recommend knowing how to do web design uh, I would really recommend uh, looking up, like, what does an employer who's looking for a illustrator or a design student of whatever, you know, thing, you know, what are they hiring for? Like, what, what do they want to know that you know how to do? And do you know how to do that? And can you take lessons in doing that? Because those are going to be the things that get you jobs. If you're just doing art for yourself personally, you can do whatever you want. There's no rules. But if you're doing art... Uh, for money, if you're doing art for other people, you're going to have to fit their needs, whatever those happen to be. Um, for me, with this channel, it's me exploring what I want to do. For you and your design career, you're going to... I'm just repeating myself at this point, aren't I? I hope that this has at least been helpful to some degree or another. Um, I have no idea. Um, when it comes to design, it was not a route that I decided to do. But luckily, you do have those job postings to be a clear understanding of what you need to have as an artist. Like, those are the skills they want. And if you can go above and beyond that, if you can go, yeah, you need a web designer and an illustrator, but I can also um, do code. Like, they only have to hire one person when they hire you rather than three different people. That's super helpful. With animation... I really don't know enough about what animation is or how to do animation to really tell you how to do that, but I imagine it works the same way. Like, if you know how to do various different elements of it, you are more hireable than someone who just knows how to, you know, do, I don't know, 
smears or whatever uh, technical term for animation exists. Like I said, not really my wheel well, but I feel like that's probably solid advice for you. Um, and hopefully this helped. Anyway, here is me signing the painting. Obviously with abstract uh, or uh, analytic cubism, you're not supposed to sign it, but I don't really care about rules or traditions, so I just do whatever I want. And then here's me signing it again. I signed this just before I started recording this. And I was very shaky because I've had like three or four cups of coffee today. And so now I'm just sort of on a caffeine high. And that's not a good idea. So don't do that. That's, that's some art advice for you. Don't drink too much caffeine. But anyway, here's the final work. Uh, you can check out the links that are appearing on screen now, or you can go to colinmullen.com, which I talk about every single video if you want to just get that. But anyway, if you have any more questions for me, leave them in the comments. Hopefully I've been helpful. If not, I'm very sorry, um, but I'll see you guys next time. Bye.